Hello YouTube, I'm not dead. <laughs> I'm just f busy on other uh, construction sites here in Berlin. So let me show you what we did in this uh, last uh, 10 days. Actually, we just can work after the, the working hours. So let's say from every day, from uh, five o'clock uh, to eight o'clock or 10 o'clock maximum. Last time we, we just had uh, <laughs> this ladder. So now I have a proper uh, stair here. And the wood what we used, this kind of wood is used on a construction field to hold the concrete floors or the concrete ceiling and the form with, uh, with this kind of uh, coated uh, play wood of what is this. Cross section of this wood is actually the same like the railway. So from this direction, this is a very, very, very stable and very strong wood. And here what we did, with the stairs, we cut it a bit from, the, from this uh, profile to make sure when we install the, the steps, uh, we can move this uh, bunker I wood in and out, make sure here in this section is on zero spot, zero, zero, zero. Also, it looks uh, kind of industrial. Uh, maybe I will not uh, paint it at all. Maybe I will left as is because I'm really like this uh, yellowish uh, industrial color. Ta-da! Focus you. Here is the studio and uh, where we are staying now. Last time when you saw this, I, if I remember good, it was nothing here. It's only brick walls and nothing else. So now what we have, we have a really nice uh, new uh, wood floor on the whole area. When we did uh, this wood floor, I just think of it, what kind of material, what kind of wood, what kind of floor, whatever, and fi I find this one in a Bauhaus for <laughs> dirty cheap. It's like five or six euro per uh, square meter. It's like uh, the floor in a theater. So I'm really like it. Of course, we applied under some kind of uh, really thin uh, uh, noise reduction, uh, I don't know what's the name of this in English. Now, if you listen, this is my steps and I'm really happy with that. Of course, later on I will do a sanding and I will apply uh, some kind of really high quality German, uh, mm, what's the name? It's uh, hard wax. <laughs> so, I think in, also in English it's called uh, hard wax. So this is what I will apply on two layer because the first layer will sink in into the wood. Then I have to do again uh, a bit of sanding and then when I apply the last layer, it will be really beautiful, really shiny, miny. On a wall, we applied uh, two kind of uh, sound uh, isolation. Every third section, is made with this uh, special uh, acoustic and thermal isolation stuff, which is contain uh, this layer and uh, the usual uh, thermal and, and uh, sound isolation. And is, is, is double side, maybe you can see here. I think it's some kind of uh, styrol or polyester or poly, I'm sure it's a kind of polyester, but it's again, it's uh, really thick and heavy and maybe you can hear already, but uh, the acoustic is really, really well controlled. This is a really soft uh, kind of wood. Maybe I can show you. So I just pushed in my finger with my nail and you can see this is a really soft one. And I'm quite happy with uh, the profile. In every 10 centimeter, I have this gap, so it's again, it's breaking uh, the sound a bit. And uh, yeah, I think it uh, looks nice. On that, my plan is to apply some kind of half transparent white uh, wood color. It's, it's made by Osmo and uh, I'm telling you guys, it's so beautiful. And actually, it's exactly made it for this kind of uh, wood panels on the wall. I think it will be a really nice uh, wood and, and ceiling after this uh, painting. Actually, if you ask me, I'm like as is now, so <laughs> I don't know. In this direction, I have a wall. In this direction, I don't have a wall. 
So I'm sure I have to do here some kind of trick on, on a ceiling. And here I'm sure I have to build some kind of mobile wall. What if I don't need, I just can push back to the wall and or if I need, for example, on the record or whatever, I just can build up the wall up to here. And then this room is depend on the configuration, will become symmetrical or asymmetrical. I have a different kind of plan for the acoustic treatment and on the next video I will show you guys what you can do with this kind of wood panels and with a really cheap solution to make sure you get much more better acoustic uh, uh, if you have some kind of uh, thermal or sound isolation on a wall. It will be really, really, really interesting. Behind this wall we applied much more thicker because this section will be the uh, home cinema section or let's call it this is this will be the the club section here here where we will play games and uh, play movies so in this section we applied much more thicker uh, uh, isolation because here i don't want to do any other kind of uh, acoustic uh, treatment without reflections your uh, cinema sound system is dead i'm telling you this wood is one inch by two inch and in few places we applied three wood like this and in some places we applied two, in some places we applied one, not because of some kind of acoustic uh, trick or whatever, just uh, to make sure the wall will be came really straight like on, on this side. As you can see it's, it's really, really straight. And uh, if you remember for, um, from the last uh, video, you saw it, it's, <laughs> it's not so straight. So I have under uh, some kind of really garbage uh, kind of uh, brickwork. So and this is how we uh, controlled and this is how we repaired this kind of issue in this wall. But now at the moment, you know, as you can see, it's absolutely perfect and everything is uh, parallel and perpendicular. Uh, here in this section, uh, my plan is to install here my electronic lab. And for that, again, I, I don't want to apply any kind of uh, sound treatment or whatever, just uh, make sure everything is really nice and, uh, and, uh, and <laughs> new. Uh, I just installed this today um, because I have here this uh, steel construction from the old ages, from the Second World War, I think. Yeah, it's, it's from 1936 or whatever. So I have here this existing uh, steel construction and I thought maybe it will be nice to use as uh, some kind of storage here. Uh, mainly I will store here all of the boxes of my synthesizers and mixer and whatever. So it's about uh, three and a half uh, square meter. Here in this section we build a wall, a half wall and here we will apply some kind of uh, four inch or three and a half inch isolation inside but uh, it's, uh, it's okay I think and uh, maybe I will install some more steel element inside, I don't know yet and uh, now uh, my plan here to install some kind of door but I'm not sure at the moment, maybe I just will do here uh, a kind of uh, wood work on the edge and maybe I will left uh, open as is. Or, mm, I don't know, I, I want to install a door, but I'm not sure. So this is really fluid now at the moment and this is why we didn't finish here the, the gips uh, works and the, the painting works from the, from the bottom. And we also prepared all the cable works. Let me show you what we have. Uh, the black cable is the incoming internet and the orange cable is, this is the uh, category six or seven. I think it's category, uh, category seven. So it's good up to 10 gigabit per uh, sec. You know guys, I'm using the Copeland system for control all of my synthesis and all of my MIDI gear. So this is why I have uh, money, money, money uh, uh, intranet uh, points. So on this wall, this wall, there also, there also, there also, also in the lab wall. One is coming to the 
mm, to the home cinema system. One is coming to the projector place and here I also have for the other uh, synthesis and also for the DJ gears. And um, the other cables, uh, I don't think so you can see, but uh, I have some kind of DMX cable also installed because the light, I want to do some kind of uh, tricky lighting system here because of the rec uh, video recordings. So I prepared also that one and all the cable and all the, the electric plan is about to get less and less and less and less noise. So uh, it's not an easy job. I'm telling you guys to, to, to make uh, the main electricity system, uh, which is good uh, for uh, audio studios, because of the noise what this can pick up from the main line is unbelievable. I still have here a lot of work, so sanding, finish the walls, finish the electricity connector, all the connectors, all the switches, all the lamps. It will be a really, really, really busy uh, November for me to finish it and then we have to move up all of my furnitures and if some furniture is not fitting here, I have to buy a new one or I have to create a new one. I have to modify a few furnitures and uh, yeah, it will, be, it will be really busy. So this is the actual status of my studio at the moment and on the next week uh, I will upload a new video about uh, what we've done in this week. And uh, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. Bye. Oh, I cannot left without to play with this. Let me show you the best nailer gun on the planet. Absolutely amazing tool. We have this for more than five years and I'm telling you, this nail air gun is already picked about two million nails or whatever. This is the brand is uh, from the Wirt and uh, the type number is DSK1555. I like 555. Absolutely amazing. It's super easy to load. It's always clean, it's nothing broken, it's, ne it's just working, it's just do the job. And this is what I mean if something is made for professional using. Just ask. Oh my God. Look. See you next time. Bye.